This is a time of great uh, challenge and opportunity for our nation and for our senior civil service. We need great leaders to lead our workforces, to work with colleagues, to support ministers in delivering government policies and helping uh, to implement them. Jonathan Lyle and Chief Executive, Defence Science and Technology Laboratory. We also need our leaders to be bold and confident and inspiring and empowering. And through the Leadership Academy, we can help learn from each other as to how to be better at those things and to lead our workforces better uh, now and in the future. So I'm at uh, a Civil Service Leadership Academy event and it's the first time that the faculty uh, has come together. It's been just so enriching and so energising to share with colleagues and to see the experiences that they have and their readiness to give their time and their support to shape the leadership learning that we're going to develop together and then to help deliver that. For anyone who's considering whether they want to join uh, the Academy, I would say it's a fantastic opportunity. We're in the early stages of the Academy. It's a real growing organisation, a real sense of energy and vibrancy. The message is that uh, the Academy is going to be about senior civil servants helping others to learn how to lead. The reason that I've uh, chosen to become part of the Academy is because I've been fascinated about leadership for the last 20 years or so and I've had the chance to put that into practice in a number of different roles in the senior civil service and for me being part of the Academy is a chance to share some of that experience and to give something back and to help other leaders to become great leaders. So to be successful, I think civil service leaders need to be inspiring, to inspire their workforces and their colleagues. Leaders need to be confident uh, in uh, their own ability and in their ability to shape policies and deliver policies. And they need to be empowering to really think about the people who are working to uh, deliver more capable and more diverse and more inclusive workforces that can really help uh, take our civil service and our nation forward.